Hey everyone, welcome to my video. This is not the first, not the second, not the freaking third, but the fourth time I'm filming this video. <sighs> there was just so many technical difficulties yesterday. On my third try, I finished the video and then I started editing and I'm like, oh shoot, great, great. But we are here again, and I'm finally doing this. Today is gonna be a video of me showing you how I wear my makeup, particularly, particularly, part, I can't say that word, particularly for glasses. I do wear glasses on the daily every single day, and so I wanted to show you how I avoid having those red circles in between my nose, how I put my blush so it fits my face, and everything else. Before we go to the video, I just wanted to mention Firmu, who right now has a 50% off code on their website. I did get these glasses from them and I absolutely, absolutely love them. Go on the Fermu website and they have this try on feature. So you go through all the glasses, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of glasses available on their website. And if you find one that you like, click it and it has a try on feature where you can in real time try the glasses on or upload a picture that you have in your gallery and have that picture try on the glasses for you. So you not only can buy yourself glasses, you can also buy other people glasses that they will surely love. Before I got these Fermu glasses, I was wearing this pair that cost me over 200 freaking dollars and I bought these because I had broken my previous ones and I tried so many glasses. I went to so many different stores, tried so many different glasses, had to travel every which way and I can attest to that by all the photos I'll be posting here of me trying out and seeing if I like these glasses or not and they would all cost me roughly 200 to 500 dollars but these glasses the ones i'm wearing now they were 33.75 33.75 and they have a 50 percent off discount that's going on right now if you click the link down in my bio i'll also be leaving the promo code right here for you to use at checkout and i'll also be leaving it down below if in case you can't really copy paste the, the one on screen if you're interested in the glasses that i am wearing right now because i absolutely love them these are the lindsay 001s they are in the color turtoise and you don't know me but i was on the hunt for a turtoise rimmed glasses for years if you don't believe me go check out my try on haul for sunnies that i have i'll be linking it up here where I, all i talk about is finding turtoise sunnies but i could never settle on one because i would never feel like my face would suit colored rimmed glasses do you ever have that feeling where if you try some glasses on you feel like you just can't rock like the plastic rim or the colored rims and I was one of those people who I would never buy anything that is colored or plastic because it just doesn't suit my face and so I felt really sad when I was going to all these different stores and I was finding all these really really nice turtoise rimmed glasses but they would never fit my face so when I went on the Fermi website I was really hesitant to buy the Lindsay 001s because it's turtoise and I was afraid it would be too thick. I was afraid it would not suit my face. What I like about Firmu though is again the try-on feature and not only the try-on feature, they also have the specs and all the measurements of these glasses on their website. So for example, how far is this from this? How far is this from this? Like I was able to measure all of those and pattern it against my actual glasses and that's when I thought hey this pair can actually work for me also how thin the turtoise rims are really helps play that role of making me feel like I'm not being overwhelmed by the glasses the glasses I previously bought they're actually in rose gold which honestly is not my favorite but I just couldn't rock silver I'm not a silver girly I like gold and I can attest to that by the collection of jewelry that I have they're all gold and i was really sad because when i had bought these they did not have any other color besides rose gold and silver and so whenever i would wear my glasses and my gold jewelry i'd be like damn like they don't match but it's fine it's fine let it go and so these ones these are not only the turtoise pattern that i was looking for they're also the gold that i'm looking for they are everything that i was looking for i'm just really really happy that i finally found 
a pair of glasses that are not just plain metal that work for my face. Also, within the first week, these kind of got loose. They were supposed to have some give to them, but they got loose. And if you notice, one is hanging on one side. This is a little bit outwards. And I'm really upset because these were 200 freaking dollars. These, on the other hand, have that really, really stable movement to them. They feel good. They feel so light, but structured. So they're not only affordable, they're also really stylish. And since they're so affordable, you can buy several pairs to match your moods and to match your outfits. I mean, Christmas is coming around the corner and don't we all need some Christmas inspired glasses to go with all of our outfits. It does come with a case that doubles up as a cleaning cloth. The feel of this is really nice. I don't know about you, but I lose all of my cleaning cloths. I lose them all. And to have a case that also doubles as a cleaning cloth is genius. Why didn't anyone think of this before? Anyway, check out Firmu and their affordable and stylish glasses. Link is down below. Don't forget to use the promo code for 50% off your next pair. Now, Let's get into the video. I am breaking out a little bit over here. That's fine. I did have my period. We will be focusing on makeup for glasses. Now, I've worn glasses for a really, really long time. It's been years and I've gone through like maybe five, six glasses already at this point. Changing glasses every year or so. And so I know my pet peeves when it comes to makeup and glasses. Number one being the red indentations on the side of my nose that I really, really don't like. And that's why I really like the Firmu glasses. They're very lightweight, so they don't really cause a very harsh indentation on my nose. One good trick that I've noticed through the past several years of me wearing glasses is the lighter the frames, the less indentation and irritability your sides will experience. Let's get into the makeup. I already prepped my face and I put some primer on and some moisturizer because it is autumn here in Canada and things are getting really, really dry. I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. I am the shade Light Beige. I have to say, I have tried so many different makeup foundations for my skin and this is my favorite one. I also really like the L'Oreal line. The only thing with the L'Oreal is I feel like it's breaking me out at times. Now I just put on foundation all over my face but I did not put it on my nose because I have to be very careful with where I put my foundation on my nose. There is no way Way. There is no surefire way to ensure that your glasses won't create those red indentations So I try to avoid that area as much as I can with it looking still normal So the way I do this is I just grab the foundation I use for everywhere else and I start putting foundation all over my nose careful to avoid the side area and I kind of know where I'm going to be avoiding. I want to make sure that it doesn't look like I skipped that area too much but also that I don't put too much product on that area to avoid the cakiness and the clumping and all that redness. I'm going with a more natural makeup look as opposed to like an out there makeup look. So I go very carefully around that area of my nose, avoiding as much as I can to put new product on that area and whatever is left on my brush which is not a lot that's when I start to go over just patting a little bit the tiniest amount of product in that area to give me a very very minimal effect and now I take my concealer the concealer I've been enjoying is the winky Lux keeper perfect my shade is in light beige every other concealer I've tried and I haven't really tried a lot but a lot of the things I've tried have not been the best on me because they do crease and I really don't like concealer that creases this concealer doesn't crease as much as the other concealers I've tried I think one of the biggest factors to a concealer creasing is how obvious it is and that is because of the shade I'm choosing a very neutral, almost skin-like color to go under my eyes because when it starts to crease, I don't really notice a lot of it happening. I generally try to avoid those wrinkles and those curves so the product does not have a reason to settle in those lines. And again, as soon as I finish dabbing everywhere else, whatever is left on my brush, that's when I start to pat in closer to my eye area and closer to that glasses area as well. So the key here is just trying to avoid any areas where you think can cause problems and it's worked for me for a while now as opposed to packing on the powder baking it setting it and it not working in the end 
I like to start with the brows. I notice when I wear glasses, I want to have either a bold brow or bold lips or I can play with both as well. I don't have a bold eye because they're covered by the glasses. And you can rock a wing liner, I always do, but you're limited by how long your lashes are. So a bold brow works in this case. I have been loving the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow. This is in the shade Soft Brown, but I'm not very picky when it comes to my brows, if I'm being honest. I do love any kind of taupey shade the H&M one the elf one the NYX one whatever is on sale I get so I like to give myself a nice thick brow when I wear my glasses because that kind of peeks through and gives your eyes a nice shape or frame or kind of a definition. I have thick brows and I do love them. I used to pluck my brows so pencil thin that at one point I saw my picture and I'm like, why? As you can tell, I'm just flicking, trying to draw some hairline strokes, but I'm not being very finicky with it. Again, this is a more casual type of minimal look, and so I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. You can use any kind of brow product you're used to, but the key here is to make it nice and bold and almost structured but effortless. Effortless structure, I'm not sure. Next, I like to brush my brows just using the spoolie side just to make sure any harsh lines, especially down here where I kind of shaped them, just to make sure that all those harsh lines are brushed through and, you know, just soften that line. And I don't trim my brows often, as you can tell. They're not trimmed, they're not cleaned out, but I don't really mind, especially when I wear glasses. Again, this is a casual look. I kind of wear this every single day. My next brow product is the new e.l.f. brow laminating gel. I do have a video on this and I'll be linking that up here. I do like this. The only thing is it's in white, so it's a little weird sometimes when I put it on my brows and there's white gunk on my brows and I have to brush that out. There, there you go. See, I don't know if you can see that, but that happens a lot. With regards to the laminating effect, this lasts me all freaking day and I do like how it has a brush and a comb and I hope they come out with like a taupe color or other colors. I do really like the idea of a colored version of this. So my brows, they're not twins, but honestly, I really don't want them to be twins. I'm happy with them just being close cousins, but I like them feathered out a little bit more just to give that I didn't try type of look. Next, we're going to deepen the eye area just a little bit to give you that depth when you wear your glasses. What I like to do is I grab a bronzer shade, whatever bronzer I'm using at that moment. The bronzer I like to use is a little bit more taupey and it's the Flower Beauty Heat Wave in the shade Heat Wave. Oh, sorry. It's the Flower Beauty Luminous Bronzer in the shade Heat Wave. I like this because it's a silky, not very shiny kind of bronzer and it's not too warm unlike a lot of the bronzers out there. This one gives me a more taupey effect which I like to give me more of that depth when you look into my eyes. Mm. I just take any fluffy brush and I just add a little bit of depth into the eye crease area. Not so much that it's super obvious, but that it's a little bit more defined. Now you can go with something darker or lighter. It really depends on your preference. Next is liner. And since I'm going with a more casual look here, I'm using a brown liner. This is the one by Physicians Formula. It's not my favorite brown formula. I kind of like the NYX Epic Ink brown more than this, but I have it, so I might as well use it. You can use black. It really depends on you, but my glasses are brown. I kind of want to bring out that brown touch to my glasses and to my eyes and just make everything cohesive. So I'm going to do a little wing liner not too extravagant because I'm not gonna wear false lashes if you make your winged liner so extravagant that it doesn't balance out with your lashes it will look a little off for me personally anyway I don't know how you like to do your wing liners but I like to just draw so that it follows the angle towards my brow so it's like it's meeting up there and then connecting it downwards so it's a nice small flick so it looks like this. It's not huge, but it's also not like too small that you can't see it. You can do whatever you want. Again, this is more preference for you. Now my eyes don't look the same. They're not twins. Again, they're kind of cousins. So I have to be careful when I do wing liner on both my eyes so that they look 
kind of the same. I think this is a struggle a lot of us face, trying to make sure the winged liners are as much a twin of each other than a cousin. So if you're happy with your look, then you can move on to the next step, which is your lashes. Now, every day, I don't actually wear these, but if your lashes are pretty long, that you feel like they can touch your glasses, I suggest trying to curl them upwards with a lash curler, but I don't have that problem. And also, I like using mascara that kind of sets upwards, so I have a little trick I'll show you in a second. Today, I'll be using the Too Faced Mascara, the Better Than Ant eh Mascara. Even with glasses on, I can't really tell if I'm in focus, and I have had a whirlwind trying to film this video four freaking times. I'm telling you, if I'm gonna have to film this a fifth time, I, I, I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. But I'm really nervous that I'm not in focus. So a little trick that helps me keep them upwards without using a lash curler is I have a little fan here and I take my finger and I just push them upwards and turn my fan on until they set into place. And this really does work for me. I just don't like the messiness that my finger goes through at the end of this, but I think it's well worth it if it means that I don't have to use a curler. So we are almost done. The next thing is to focus on blush. Now your glasses will sit on your face and so the blush might peek through a little bit and there's this really beautiful and comforting thing where you can almost see the blush peeking through when you're wearing glasses. I think it's such like a effortless, chic, cute little moment. I'll be using one of my favorite blushes. This is the Flower Beauty Powder Blush in Warm Hibiscus. I love this blush so much. It depends on your face shape, but for me, I like to focus it where my glasses kind of sit and then outwards as well, just to give me that beautiful, like cute illusion. I don't know, I like that. I think it looks very cute and I think that it kind of balances out what's being covered by your glasses versus what your face is actually showing. So the way I put my blush is I focus it more like sidewards as opposed to like the apples. And I think bringing the blush down here just gives you that beautiful illusion when you wear your glasses. Okay, the next thing is lips. Now you can go with a bold lip, especially since you'll be wearing glasses. I don't go with bold lips very often, so today could be a good moment to wear some bold lips that matches the frames of my glasses. So my glasses frames are very turquoise and they're very warm brown. So I'm thinking maybe I can match it with one of my Milani lipsticks. I think this is gonna be Great, so let's try this on. So I'm gonna be using this lip liner by Lancome. This is in the shade Ideal, and I'll just line my lips. Wearing a bold lip can be a little bit intense, so I wanna make sure that my lip lining is flawless. And then I'm gonna be going in with Milani in the shade Desire. I do have a video on these. I'll be linking that up here as well, so. I actually like to cover my cupid's bow a little bit. I feel like it gives me a softer look to my lips. So I'm gonna be covering that a little bit with some liner. And when I'm in cover, I mean like a little overdrawing. It might not look like a lot to you, but I already noticed that I prefer this look a little bit more. Okay, so now we're ready to put the glasses on. So now I'm wearing my glasses and you can really tell like where I put the blush, the lips are lipping, <laughs> they're a little bold, but you can also sway and wear something a little bit more neutral, which I tend to do on the daily. My brows are sitting right on top of where my frames end. And again, that kind of adds to that framing effect that your glasses usually gives you. And yeah. I'm gonna wear a little hat to make my look a little bit cuter. And this is the end of the look. I love it so much and I just feel like I'm effortless and I'm cute and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel really good when I wear this look. If you're wearing glasses, I hope this helped you. Even if you're not wearing glasses, I hope this still helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful in any way. If you do try these tips and techniques, please leave me a comment down below like this video if you did and subscribe down below if you haven't already also check out firmu and use that code for 50% off your next purchase i really do appreciate your support and i'm very very lucky to have you here with me thank you so much and have a good rest of your week bye